Today I'm reviewing the Points of Light, another light projection system, this one for Halloween, only available at Walmart, so let's get right to it. All right, I know I said I was done with the light projection reviews for the year, but this one's been advertising a lot. It's the Walmart only Points of Light Halloween projector. Now there's a Christmas version out there. The only real difference between the two is the color of the lights inside. Otherwise they function identically. You have the unit itself, you have the base, and you have this piece. So what you're supposed to do is this is the angle at which it's supposed to be at, kind of like a little bug. The ball's gonna go between this and the connector. So what you have to do is press that in there and then tighten this. Now that you're gonna really have to make sure you tighten it quite a bit or it won't stay in place. Because the ball is kind of heavy. So once you get it plenty tightened, it will stay and you can adjust it. But after a while of moving it around, sometimes it seems like it loosens up and you have to tighten that again. Not big on the base, I wish it was a different design, but I guess it'll work. Here's the remote, and when I used it last night, I went over all the different features. My only concern is that if something happens to this, there's no way of controlling the unit. The box says there's 14 color combinations and 114 lighting effects. If I'm not mistaken, the one last year said 96 lighting effects, so maybe they add something since last year. So I took the Points of Light Halloween projector outside and compared it to the other Halloween projectors that I have, and here's how it went. All right, tonight I am reviewing the Points of Light Halloween projector that's an ASEAN TV product only from Walmart, and it cost me $34.88. This has been advertising on television, so I thought it would be cool to compare it to the other projectors that have Halloween in them, still advertising in 2017. So this is a review of the Points of Light, but I'm going to show you the Window Wonderland Star Shower Slideshow and the Star Shower Laser Magic. I also have my Bell & Howell light bar, which I forgot to charge, so it's not as bright as usual, so bear with me on that. Sorry about that light bar. There are no controls or buttons on the unit itself. It all relies on this remote control, which makes me worry a little bit because I once had a product called Luma Candles, and once the remote died, the product was useless. I wish there was buttons on there for that reason, but anyways. According to this ginormous instruction sheet, the remote control is as follows. This stops and starts the motion. This has the effects, this has the colors, and that turns it off. So you point it at the device itself, and there we go. It is static right now, as you can see. Now, one thing I've noticed is it has a very wide projection range. I mean, look how wide that is. That covers the entire house, one shot. Now, I didn't touch anything, it changed on its own. So this is, looks like this effect is just a slow cycle through all the different colors. Okay, right now it's cycling slowly through the colors. I'm gonna hit this effect button. There we go. I mean, I'm standing back as far as I can. I'm against the wall, but look how wide that is. Much wider than the other ones I'll show you later. Kind of looks like bubbles going up the house, doesn't it? I kind of like it. I think it's, I like the extreme angle of projection, how wide that is. I'm just cycling through right now. You can see what they all look like. It seems like it's adding more colors as I go. I think you could probably use some of these for Thanksgiving too if you had that, like some of the orange ones. Because that's not overtly Halloween. That could be, that could probably be Thanksgiving also. All right, so then the final button is to turn it off, which it didn't turn off. Okay. So on the Star Shower Laser Magic, we have kind of these cool uh, images of ghosts and things and bats. And it also has Christmas, which the Points of Light Halloween does not have. So you have to consider that also. This can be used for a couple of holidays while the Points of Light may be Thanksgiving and Halloween, but definitely only Halloween. Off to Star Shower Slideshow. Now this is one of my favorites, and I don't really feel like it has a very wide projection angle either. Once again, let me compare it to the points of light. I mean, they kind of look good together, to be honest. But look how what much wider that covers the entire house. Well, that looks good. And then here is the window wonderland, which is very dim. It's actually just supposed to be on the inside of a window, but I'm projecting on the side of the house right now. 
And th these are about 10 second loops. And you it doesn't automatically cycle through them, so you have to select one. Once again, let's compare to the points of light. Boom. I mean, it almost completely drowns that out. If you can see about how wide it is compared to me, it's pretty wide. I wonder if this remote control will work over here. It does work. That's good. Let me see how far away this works. Well, the remote control seems to have a decent range. That's good. One thing I noticed about this is that look how it's flickering like that. See that? When I was when I was setting up earlier, it seemed like it was doing this as well, where the it's flickering, and I'm not I'm not touching it. I'm not doing anything. It's still it's still rotating, but I'm not sure if I have a defective unit or if it's just touchy about that. See, that's that's potentially a deal breaker on an otherwise really good product. I like how bright it is. I like how wide the projection angle is, but this flickering is not good. Another thing is how it goes in the base. I'll take it inside in the light and show you, but it was kind of hard to get set up properly and it was kind of falling over. It's supposed to go like that, but no matter how much I tighten that, it still seems to kind of flop around. But see the flickering? It just went out again. So I don't know. I really like a lot of features on the points of light, but the flickering, next time it flickers, I'm going to try the remote control. Here we go. Aha. So hitting the remote control, it stops from flickering. That's not, I mean, that's, I don't know about that, guys. It seems like you can stop the flickering if you hit the remote control a few times to get it off of whatever pattern it's on. That's a little bit Mickey Mouse to me to, to fix it that way. So I'm a little bit on the fence about this. This was $35. This is the cheapest of the four, but cheap comes at a cost. I'm not sure I would pick this over the other ones. I'd probably take the Star Shower Laser Magic over this one, even though it's $50. On the other hand, it's working right now. If once you get it in place, with the cheap stand, and once you get it stopped flickering, it's pretty cool. So to recap, the Star Shower slide shows 40, Laser Magic is 50, Wonderland is 60, and this one is $35. But wait, before I go, let's put all of them on at the same time again and see how they look. I don't know if I like the red and the green for Ghost, now I think about it. There's all four of them. You can, the points of light definitely looks brighter as well. I'm not sure it's, it stands out over the others. It definitely holds its own though. You know, the other problem about the points of light is it's only for Halloween. It, I guess you could use it for th Thanksgiving, but the others all have Christmas built into them. So really this is kind of a, something you'll use for the next couple weeks until Halloween is over, maybe th Thanksgiving, and then it's not really that useful. So there is a Christmas version of the points of light, which I think the Two Cent Chicks reviewed last year. I will review that this year if there's enough interest in it. But right now, as it is the Halloween version, you can really only use for maybe a couple weeks left in October, maybe into Thanksgiving, but the day after Thanksgiving, it's Christmas time, you're not gonna be using that anymore. So you might get a month, five, six weeks out of it. While the star showers, you can get from Halloween all the way until the end of the year. I still think I'd probably take one of the star showers. Although it is $5 cheaper than the star shower slideshow and $15 cheaper than the star shower laser magic, $25 cheaper than the windowland that nobody wants. So if cost is a factor, I think it does a pretty good job. It doesn't have pictures. There's a lot of different colors, a lot of different movement. Another concern I have is the remote control. If something happens to it, you basically got yourself a paperweight because there's no controls on the actual unit itself. So I don't know. I'm a little bit torn on this. Um, people have asked me to give star ratings or ratings. If I had to go compare all the other ones, I'd give this a solid six, six and a half maybe. Just because the base is a little bit flimsy um, sometimes it flickers and it's really only a Halloween unit. So I'd say a good six, six and a half out of 10. Price definitely helps a little bit there though. All right, so there you have it. I think that it holds its own against the other projectors out there, but would you buy a Halloween only projector? Or would you buy something that has Halloween and Christmas? That's the only thing I think that limits the Halloween version of this. However, if you're big on Halloween, this is probably a good product to have. Have you used the Points of Light Halloween or Christmas versions? Let me know what you think in the comments below and please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, The Freaking Reviews.